Hi, this is Allie Watts, your brand strategist, and today I just want to do a quick tutorial on green screening uh, video editing. Um, this is a service that I do offer uh, for my clients, and I just wanted to show those who may have uh, this program or program similar to it. If you have an Apple iMovie, works just as good um, with uh, green screening effects. So I recorded a video earlier, and I just want to show you just how simple it is uh, with this particular program, Final Cut Pro 10, um, to uh, edit green screen footage. So um, I'm going to import my video in. I'm just going to find it on uh, the place where I have it here. And I'm just going to grab it, drag it, and pull it into my timeline here. As you can see, the video uploads pretty quickly. Here you can see the percentage of how long it's taking for that import to take place. Um, once it gets to 100%, then we can start um, the editing process as far as pulling out green screen. Um, and the technique with having a good green screen effect and pulling it the background out is um, really, really good lighting. Make sure that you're well lit all the way around. The import is complete. Um, well lit all the way around in order for um, you to pull that green screen or the background out really easily. So I'll click on my image for Final Cut Pro 10. It's pretty simple. You'll go over here and um, the effects browser and choose the effects. Um, green screening is also called keying um, and it's basically um, just a uh, pulling a color, specific color out, and in this case, it is the green color. Um, and the, the one technique about green screening is to make sure that you do not wear the color green in um, while you're filming on a green screen because it will uh, pull that out as well. So this is what it will look like um, once you pull the background out. So you'll grab this key here, and just drop it on top of the footage. And automatically it will start pulling the green out of the background. Um, it will start to, um, here, go up to 100% once we're good. But you can see that it pulled most of the green out, but you can see this fuzziness, fuzz, fuzziness here. Um, to refine that, um, removal of the green from the background you'll use the sample color here and you'll drag that here or click on it and then come over here and pull and drag and you can see where it's starting to pull that color out isn't that great and that's just really how simple it is to remove the color from the background the green color out um of your footage that you have recorded on green screen and then you can start all of the fun things like um, putting a beautiful background in there you just you know go under here which is uh, your background effects they have textures these are all of your backgrounds different backgrounds and you can also pull pictures and textures and backgrounds from other applications or stock footage that you have and just drag that background behind you and voila Green screening made easy with Ali Watts, your brand strategist. Hopefully this tip helped. Um, and like I said, if you don't have this uh, program, which is Final Cut Pro uh, 10, um, it also works with iMovie, which is standard with any Mac computer. iMovie comes standard with any Mac computer. And green screening effect, um, the um, ability to pull green screen, blue screen um, as well out is is just as easy um, it really is just chroma keying is uh, why it's called a keyer and that chroma basically is uh, the same term as color and it pulls a specific color out just make sure that you do not wear that particular color because um, it will pull that color out of your clothes or whatever all of that will disappear so hopefully this was a helpful tip and happy branding building the brand that you can love, attract the clients, your ideal client, 
so that you can exchange your gift, your product, or your service for the cha-ching cash. All right. Have a great night, guys.